I've one shirt while here. The game Gundam vs Gundam, also known as the less than stellar predecessor to Next Plus, which came out a year later, is a late 2000s Gundam vs game that came out on the PSP a few months after its stay in the arcades. But who cares about all this? We're here to see how to make colonies fall on enemy units and wreak havoc across the game's many stages. As you might or might not know, this game does not feature the usual style of power-ups, such as Awakens or EX Bursts. Instead, a large gauge under the two-point gauges, simply labeled as G Crossover, takes its place. It charges when you receive damage and can be activated by double-tapping the left bumper. Upon activation, an attack covering a large area of the map is performed, the type of which depends heavily on what unit you and your teammate are using. The units from Mobile Suit Gundam cause the aforementioned colony drop as their G crossover. The colony comes crashing down on the stage, causing an area of effect explosion. Units from Zeta give you the colony laser, Double Zeta's roster gets the Lavi and Rose to launch chunks of it at the enemy, and the duo from Shars Counterattack has the Axis Asteroid sliding across the stage. F91 units summon the Rafflesia to slide through the stage in a single sweep, while Victory's two units can call the Adrastia class ship to cross the map on wheels. As for G Gundam, as expected, the G crossover for this series is the Chokyu Hao Denyedan. As a nice little detail, when Master Gundam launches the attack, Domon's face will appear in the front of it. And when God Gundam does it, it's Master Asia being the face of the attack. Quite literally. Wings units get the Peace Million to swoop across the stage. It has a pretty good horizontal coverage and can sometimes hit stuff at higher elevation too. After War Gundam X has its iconic satellite cannon salvo, having 9 UNE mobile suits fire diagonally downwards. Turn A Gundam gets the Moonlight Butterfly, specifically the Turn Axis, with the mobile suit in question appearing outside of the stage, spreading its wings in a V-shape, which, if you play your cards right, can do some nasty intercepting. For the seed cast, you get the Genesis Death Beam, which is a big, fat vertical Kirobi, while Destiny units can take the Destroy Gundam for a stroll. A simple, linear one, but still. It deals damage in a cone, having its smaller beam cannons point diagonally downwards. War in the Pocket gets Santa Claus to come to town, with the enemy team on the naughty list, and a set of large explosive balloons being placed throughout the stage. Stardust Memories G crossover is Ko Araki in a Dendrobium. The coverage area for this one is extra wide, since the mobile armor's hitbox includes the giant fuck off beam sword poking out from the side. The OF MS team gets the Absolute 2 for a change, firing off five vertical beam shots in an arc shaped pattern. Lastly, the series that was fairly recent at the time, Gundam 00, gets two units to help out during the G crossover move. First, Gundam Virtue blasts its G and Bazooka beam at full power, and then Gundam Kyrios comes in for a bombing run. So yeah, that's all the G crossover attacks. Despite my many gripes with Gundam vs Gundam and my insistence on sticking to Next Plus instead, I can't really deny that these are pretty neat. Besides, if you land them, the damage is quite hefty and can often turn the tide of the battle in your favor. It was a shorter entry this time since I'm a tad swamped at the moment, but regardless, have a good one, and this is Shirtlad, signing out.